Good morning guys! Welcome to another My Tan Feet video. Today we're super excited to share this tour with you. We are here with Randall again and he's going to be our tour guide for the Palo Verde National Park boat tour. On the way to the National Park, we stopped at a section of the Tempisque River to learn about the Areneros, which Randall gave us a very nice explanation about. Every rainy season, the river naturally brings uh, a lot of uh, sand from, uh, from the higher elevations uh, down to these areas. And what they basically do is they shovel or bucket the sand from the bottom of the river into a little boat. Uh, this is what they do in the deeper areas. Into a boat, bring this boat to the shore and have to load up that sand into an ox car. Once, they, once uh, they load it up, they have to bring it out to an area where machinery will load it up in bigger trucks. We learned that this type of artisanal sand collecting is very important for the locals. And after our stop, we headed to the dock for the boat tour. It's going to take us around one hour and 30 minutes to two hours. And we are expecting to see um, lots of wildlife. Uh, we are going to see crocodiles, iguanas, bats, uh, monkeys, uh, different species of, of birds. Uh, and during this time, we are also going to be learning about the different species and the importance of the uh, place where we are. And Palo Verde National Park is indeed an extremely important park in Costa Rica as it protects endangered tropical dry forest in the Tempisque Valley and the Tempisque River, which is home to a large variety of flora and fauna, particularly birds. We visited in the beginning of March and were able to see a ton of birds like black crowned night herons, tiger herons, and storks. Since we were in a covered motorized boat, we were able to get some really nice photos and videos of the animals during the safari boat tour. After the tour, we headed to lunch and we were so excited to spot one of our favorite birds along the way, a scarlet macaw. Scarlet macaws are scarce in Guanacaste, so it was really exciting to see them here as it means their population is making a comeback. Then for lunch, we went to a traditional Costa Rican restaurant. We had a delicious typical lunch of homemade tortillas, rice, beans, salad, and chicken. And we topped it off with a nice steaming cup of Costa Rican coffee. And that was our day at the Palo Verde National Park boat tour. I want to say a huge thanks to Randall. We saw so many animals thanks to you. Thank you, Samantha. I'm happy to know that you like it. If you guys want to know more about this tour, just click on the links below in the description. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more Costa Rica content. Thanks for watching.